Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here today at the launch of the Rail Training Centre, the City of Wolverhampton College. I've found Tony Kearns. Tony, you're the COO of Romberg Sursa, but you're also representing Strabag here. And we've got a really cool machine that you're responsible for behind me. But this is just a fantastic new opportunity for you as a business to collaborate through the West Midlands Combined Authority with a beautiful college like City of Wolverhampton College. Why are you doing this and what, what does it mean to you? Well, this is a great opportunity for us to, to support the West Midlands Combined Authority. Um, it's right on the route of High Speed 2, but it's not just about High Speed 2 for us. It's strategically located in the Midlands, there's a Midland Metro, there's Network Rail, there's all sorts of opportunities. And this is really important for us to be part of uh, supporting the college for the future of local people, local businesses, getting the economy going, training schemes that are going to make a better environment in the West Midlands. And this is the thing, we always talk about shortage of skills, the apprenticeships that came and went. We've lost a lot of skills in the industry as people retire as well. This is important that we get things right, isn't it? It's absolutely instrumental in the future of our construction, uh, particularly in the rail environment. Um, there's been a massive shortage for many years, way back to when I joined uh, the rail infrastructure uh, sector. No apprenticeships, no graduate intakes, massive shortage and it, it's absolutely imperative that we as a business and a joint venture with Strabag are part of this to develop the future for tomorrow, not just with young people, but with businesses and local businesses and that investment in the local area and the supply chain. And that supply chain is really important because you not only need people to run these machines, when we're going to talk to one of your experts yeah. about this beast in a minute, made in just 19 weeks. Unbelievable engineering from your team there, isn't it? And that just shows you what we can do when we put our mind to it, doesn't it? Uh, this is just an example of the heart of things that we do. We're extremely innovative. We rise to the challenging projects. And this came about very quickly. And in 19 weeks, as you say, Peter, we designed it from scratch and had it built and operating on one of our work sites in London in 19 weeks. And that included all the training and a training site that, that was used to develop those people. And that's what we want to use the facility for, to innovate, develop people, train people for the future of building not only High Speed 2, but other infrastructure projects. So I've come here now with Chris Kearns and Chris has let me hold this ridiculously massive device. Chris, what on earth is this? And I know I'm not allowed to touch the levers. I could be in serious trouble. There's a lot of concrete, a lot of machine here. What does this do? What And what we stood next to? So you stood next to one of the slab track installation gantries that we've produced. Actually, it's remote control now. Oh, right. The, Fantastic. The, the, this is one of three. The yep. success of this, we actually built two more. Yep. Um, and the new ones have remote control gantry and this one will be upgraded at the college. Right. So part of the training will be upgrading this gantry whilst we're here. And I've just discovered, this is unbelievable folks, that this is actually going to stay here at the college so the students can use it, but also you can use this as a base yep. for all of your training for people around the West Midlands area. That just kills two birds with one stone, doesn't it? Absolutely. This is completely unique for the UK. So it, with High Speed 2 and other projects of this type, this is key to actually ensuring that we keep people safe. So traditionally, very hands-on uh, installation of this, we would sooner train people on these types of machines that take away the interface of people and pla uh, to people plant away yep. from the construction. So it's all about safety, folks, and the remote control moving away from this one is equally going to be brilliant with that. We're going to see this machine running later on, but let's go and have a walk around it, folks. So the most important thing is what this machine is here for and what are these things here they look like big concrete yep. slabs basically so, so the, these have been very kindly donated by a company called poor yeah. they have been awarded the contract for hs2 so these are the very first panels into the uk wow. okay. that will be installed on hs2 the, that's great the, hold on let me touch one it's real folks <laughs> this is real these are going to be on hs2 this is fantastic so not only have we got this machine here yep. but we have and we can tell the students here that these things are going to be on HS2 yeah, and this, this is the first one. The, these exact panels. Let's, let's take a look at this folks. So well, basically, what have we got here and what do these things do and what, what's it, what, what are the, the other bits that we've got? So the design of the system is that it's vertically held by the five pinpoints. Yep. You can see four in, installed. The centre one just does a support. 
but the gantry lowers its uh, columns down over the top of the spindles. And these actually, things are the columns. Yeah, yeah, these yeah. are the columns. Yeah. Picks up the top of the head of the spindle they're engineered to allow to the lift. And when we place the spindles, our engineers have already measured um, the height for the spindle. So when this gets lowered down onto the ground, when we're on a live construction site, the gantry is actually placing it almost to the correct vertical position. So that means we don't have to have any pushing and shoving of this really expensive piece of poured <laughs> material here. Um, and that means we actually have things and get things right first time. Absolutely. And so we don't want to be coming down retrofitting something or doing other no. works and bringing this machine back. We want, no. to, we want to be able to lay this track as fast yeah, as possible. And, and this is what it's about, isn't it? Using this equipment, speed and accuracy. Sp speed, accuracy, quality and above all safety.